Welcome to the testing world. In this session, we are going to cover how to delete data from the database tables. This is the day three video out of the total 10 videos that we have designed specially for the software testers. To delete the data from the database table, the first command is delete. With the help of the delete command, we can conditionally delete the data from the table. Here in this case, data will be deleted from the table but table still exists means we can still use the table we can insert the data again moving to the database here i have a table employee i want to delete the data from the table first i'm showing you the content of the employee table so select star from employee so it shows all the data from the employee table I want to delete the data where location is NOIDA. So we can see only two records we have with the NOIDA location. So I can make the condition like delete from employee where location is NOIDA. So I execute this command and it shows two rows deleted. So I run select command again and here we can see now with the noida location record does not exist so with the help of the delete command we are removing the data conditionally but we can also use delete command like delete from table name here i'm not giving any condition when we are not giving any condition means we want to delete complete data from the table so i executed this and six row deleted now if i want to select the data from employee table so it should display no record found so we are getting no rows found so means all the data has been deleted so first command that we have seen to delete the data is the delete command Next command which we can use to delete the data is truncate. With the help of the truncate command, we can delete all the data from the table. But in this case, again, the data will be deleted from the table, but the table still exists. So means we can insert the data to the table again and we can use the table again for the further purpose. So here I have one more table is the test employee so first i'll show you the data in the test employee so select star from test employee here we can see few records display over there i want to execute the truncate command truncate table test employee execute this command so here it shows table truncated means all the data from the table is removed so i'm again running select star from test employee and here it shows no data selected means all the data from the table is removed so we have seen the second command to delete the data is the truncate Moving to next command, which is drop. With the help of the drop query, we can delete the data from the table and also the table structure will be deleted. Means the data will be deleted and apart from it, the table structure will be deleted. After this, we cannot insert the data into the table because table does not exist. So I'm moving to my database here I have a table that is my employee. First, I'm showing you the data in that table. So, table name is my employee. So, I just mention execute this, it shows the data. I'm running drop command like drop table my employee. Running it, table dropped. 
means all the data has been removed and also the table structure is removed so i'm running like select star from my employee and execute this so here it shows that you do not have the table because it is dropped so we have seen three commands to delete the data from the table delete command which is a dml command so what is the difference between these three commands delete command is a dml command drop and truncate are ddl command delete command can remove data conditionally drop and truncate remove data completely delete can be rolled back means once the data is deleted by the delete command once the data is deleted we can roll back the data we can bring the data back but in case of the truncate and drop command we cannot roll back data delete and truncate remove the data only but drop command remove data as well as table structure thanks for watching this video if you want to know more about us you can go to www.thetestingworld.com if you want training support you can call us or whatsapp us 8743913121 thanks for watching this video